Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to create talking photos in Video Express AI. So first let me give you a quick example. So just watch this video clip. Would you like to learn how to create photorealistic static images like this one? Then turn it into a talking photo, just like I did here. This is pretty cool, right? Yeah, it's possible with AI technology. And I'd love to show you how to do it yourself. Watch my full step-by-step -step video tutorial. So let me show you how to do this. I'm logged into my Video Express account. In the right side panel, click on Create with AI. And you'll see these options here. Click on Talking Photos. And you'll see this pop-up. Down below, you'll see these recommended photo resolutions in order to achieve best results when creating talking photos. You can either select an AI image from your local drive or an image that you already uploaded to Video Express. I'm going to choose Create from Prompt because I want to generate my own image for the talking photo. You'll then see this pop up. At the top, you have two options landscape and vertical. I'm going to leave it to the default landscape. Next, I'm going to enter my prompt into this box to generate my image. You can use this drop down to choose the image type. I'm going to leave it to the default human. Under style, you have several options. I'm going to choose photorealistic and then click on generate image. It will then start generating the AI image. Now, the time it takes will depend on the prompt as well as the servers. And this can take a few seconds. In this case, it took about 11 seconds. So this is the image it generated. But if you're not happy with the generated image, you can tweak the AI prompt and then regenerate it. So I'm just going to use this one. You can check this box if you do not want this image to be shared in the public library. You can save it to your own media library in Video Express, which is what I'm going to do. You can use the settings to adjust the motion speed and smoothness, and I'm just going to leave them as default. I'll check these two boxes for talking photos and video has forward facing person and then click on Create Talking Video. You'll see this pop up to create your audio for the talking photo. It has three tabs at the top. You can import your own audio like an MP3 file. You can record your own voiceover right here. Or you can use text-to-speech, which is what I'm going to do. Under Language, you'll find a lot of options as you can see. I'll stick with the default English. And then under voice, there are several male and female voices here that you can choose from. I'll choose Sarah. You can also choose emotions here using this drop down. I'll leave it as default. You can also use these sliders to control the speed and the pitch. Again, I'll leave them as default. In this box, I'll enter my script for the text to speech voiceover. And then click on Import Speech. It will process it. And then once processed, you can listen to it here using this player. In the final step, click on Create Talking Video. It will then start processing the talking photo. And you'll see this message down below saying that once it's completed, you'll find it in the My Media tab. You can close this dialog box and then click this X button to close this right side panel. Now, if you go to the media library in the right side panel, you'll see this panel here. And under the folder called My AI Videos, you'll find all the talking photos you've generated. And this is the one that we just created. If you right click on it, you'll see these options. I'll click the play button and you'll see this pop up player and you can hover your mouse over it and play it. Would you like to learn how to create photorealistic static images like this one? Then turn it into a talking photo, just like I did here. 
As you can see, that came out pretty good, but one thing you would have noticed is that it only has the lips moving. There's no other face and head movements or eye blinks. So you can use this repair and optimize button, and it will process another video with some head and eye movements, which will look a little more natural. Now bear in mind that the head and eye movements may not work for all photos, and I'll show you what I mean. So let me just close this dialog box, and then if I go back to the media library, you can see this is the regenerated video. And if I play it, you'll notice the head and eye movements. However, you'll also notice that some of the hair is not moving with the head movements. So that can seem a little unnatural as well. So it will really depend on, you know, the photo that you're using. But overall, it did a pretty good job of it taking a static image and turning it into a talking photo. Let me close this dialog box. Video Express is also a video creation tool and a video editor, and I'll cover more of the other features in separate videos. But for example, you can drag and drop the video that we just created and add it to the timeline like so, and then add more clips, text animations, etc., to create a full video with Video Express. If you'd like to try Video Express and get a discounted price, check the link in the description section. Well, hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.